Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RC Life 365. Can you guys hear that or is it just me? Gotta shut the AC off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RC Life 365. Now, if you've been around our channel very long whatsoever, you know that we like to bring you guys exciting, fun, adventurous stuff to do in the area, in the world that we are currently at at that time. Right now, that happens to be Daegu, South Korea. So, in this video, I'm bringing you five awesome things that you can look forward to doing while you're here in Daegu. Let's go. Now in this list, we're gonna be counting down from five, four, three, two, and one. One is gonna be our favorite thing, personally our favorite thing to do here in Daegu specifically, okay? Now, all these things are fun, every single one costs money, so if you're looking for a free list, look forward to next week's video because we're gonna be putting that out then. But this week, all five of these things are gonna be paid things to do, and starting off with number one, is gonna be 4DX theaters. If you guys have never been to a 4DX theater before, it is basically like a joy ride inside of a theater. You're sitting inside of these chairs that have a bunch of different actions to them. They move, they tilt, there's misters, there's foggers. Actually, last time we went and saw a movie, it was sick. We noticed that out of the ceiling, a bunch of snow started coming down. Sierra, what movie were we watching? We were watching Aladdin, and when Jafar sends him away in, into the snowy place, a bunch of snow started coming down in the theater. It was crazy. I thought it was just going to be like, maybe like little styrofoam puffs or something like that, but we reached out and it was cold and it was wet and it dissolved. It was snow. It was crazy. My little sister jumped out of the little motion chair and started chasing the snow. I was like, Jenny, you have got to calm down. So it was a ton of fun and exciting time. If you guys ever get to go to a 4DX theater, go. Check it out, see a movie there. We we have these in the United States, but there are just so many here in Korea because it was invented here. So go check that out, it's tons of fun. So this next one is actually probably gonna be my wife's favorite thing to her specifically that she liked to do here in Daegu because she's a huge fan of mermaids. This one is the Daegu Alive Aquarium in Shinsegae Mall. This aquarium has some amazing exhibits, like all the animals that you want to see are gonna be there, that you expect to be in an aquarium, and more. They have like some reptiles and penguins, and like I said, they have freaking mermaids. So if you guys wanna see more of that, check out the video, I'm gonna link it above. Check that out, it's tons of fun, and they also have a great military discount. If you're looking for more military discounts, look in our next video that we're gonna have tagged up in the card. It's gonna be all about military discounts here in Daegu. Go check that out after this video. Not yet. Wait, please. Now coming in at number three is actually going to be a piece of the Korean culture that is nowadays a part of the culture. Korea has a big gaming culture and it comes in various forms. So here in Daegu, we have VR arcades, we have PC cafes, we have a ton of normal arcades and a ton of prize grabbers. They have just little outlets that you just go in and there's like 30 prize grabbers and you just play prize grabbers non-stop. It's amazing. They're, they're everywhere. You can't make a turn on the street here in Daegu without finding one of these four things and it's awesome. Honestly, we got addicted a little bit to playing these arcade games and we amassed a stupid amount of plushies and figurines and a whole bunch of other stuff and we just can't get rid of them all. We've given away half of them and we've sold another another good chunk but we still have tons just because they're everywhere and they're so tempting to go play. So if you guys come here in Korea, budget yourself but go play some prize, some prize grabbers and some arcade games and definitely check out the VR. Another video linked up above. All right, now we are just blazing through my list here, but the second one, the number two spot, that it definitely gets number two because it's awesome, is gonna be E-World. Now, E-World can be a great time or it can actually be a dud, but it's still worth the number two spot. And the reason we say this is because E-World has a great ton of great merchandise and rides and shows. The only issue is that We've been there a few times, and granted it was when it was a little cooler outside, and there were no shows going, there were no, there were a lot of rides that were closed down that we really wanted to ride. 
but if you if you look on the website that they have and you can figure out what day is a great day for shows and what day is a great day for rides to be open then you can go and have a fantastic time in the winter they have a downhill slope that they turn into a sledding a little sledding thing there was no snow outside anywhere but they had made some artificial snow and made a giant sledding ramp for kids it was great and fun now in the summer we just went and they turned that same thing into a giant water slide that you can tube down it's really sick really cool and adults can play on that one so guys go check out eWorld it's tons of fun there's great shows like I said there's some good fireworks when it comes to like uh, Christmas and other events that Koreans actually celebrate so go check that out and tell us if you agree with what we call it which is discount Disney and if you look above you can definitely see why we call it discount Disney that video explains it very well all right, coming in at number one. Number one is gonna be the awesome, epic, fun, joy-filled animal cafes here in Daegu. Now, these aren't just in Daegu, these are also in Seoul and probably in Busan. We haven't explored them in Busan, but we know they're in Seoul and Daegu, especially because we've been to five of them here in Daegu. The five we've been to are raccoon cafes, cat cafes, dog cafes, fishing cafes, and even a parrot cafe. We actually haven't made the video for the parrot cafe. We're going to soon. It's going to be awesome. Look out for that. But these cafes, you go in, you grab a cup of coffee, and you play with these animals. It blows me away that we don't allow this in the States. I have had friends who have said that they have gone to these places and have actually felt a little sick for the week afterwards. And we haven't exactly experienced that, but my friend has. And so I just want to say, be careful when you go. Make sure you keep your hands away from your eyes and your mouth. Um, but you get to play with these raccoons. You get to play with these cats and dogs and birds. And you get to fish at a cafe even. So go check these out. These places bring just such great joy to me and my wife. And so that's the reason they're getting number one. It's great. It's fun. It's totally Korean. Enjoy it while you're here. If you guys want to see more of those, go check out the links above or in the description. I'm not sure how many videos we can put up there, but everything we've talked about is a video that we've made, and we want you to check it out and then go explore it and have fun with it. They're all great. They're all amazing. Go check out the videos either up there or down there, somewhere here, even the end screen. We'll make sure to put a couple different videos up there that you can choose from that you can see them, okay? So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you really liked this video, please show us you liked it by hitting it with that thumbs up, and if you really 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 liked it please show us you really really liked it by hitting that subscribe button and bell notification thanks guys we'll see you next time bye